Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Paul Lameth and thank you for joining me. So I'm gonna go over the books that I plan to buy and read in 2020. These are the releases that are going to be released in 2020 that I am basically going to buy and read. And I'm limiting myself to 12 and that's basically all I'm going to read as far as releases from 2020 for most of the year as I focus more on my backlog. And um, there will be no surprises here. These are very basic, popular books. First one is Come Tumbling Down by Shauna McGuire. This continues the Wayward Children series. I should be getting this later this week. Prosperous Demon by K.J. Parker. This is another Tor.com novella, which probably my library system will not buy because of the Macmillan ebook fiasco. So that's why I'm buying it. Okay. I probably should have some standards and like agree with all the librarians and not buy any Tor books either. But seriously, I mean, it's Tor. Half my, half the books I've bought in my life are Tor books. Uh, Robert Jackson Bennett has a new book out, Shorefall, and this is the sequel to Foundry Side. I hope that he kind of makes the world building a little bit more clear and just expands on uh, Foundry Side. The Hidden Girl and Other Stories by Ken Liu. I love The Paper Menagerie by Ken Liu. I thought that was a great collection, one of my favorites, and I'm looking forward to more Ken Liu goodness. The City We Became by N.K. Jemisin. Now, I did not really care for the short story that this novella is based on. So why am I going to try to do it? Why am, why am I going to buy it and read it? Because hype. Like, how can I be a part of the SFF community and not read an, a new N.K. Jemisin book? So we'll see. Hopefully it'll be better than the short story because the idea of a personified city doesn't really appeal to me, but if it has actual characters that are a part of the city, then that's that's kind of cool. The Last Emperor Emprox by John Scalzi. This is the third book in his series, and I'm looking forward to more um, political intrigue and what happens in this universe. Martha Wells has a murder bot novel called Network Effect, and I'm looking forward to this mainly because I think that the expanded room for her is going to allow her to uh, really dive deep into Murderbot's character. So Tamsin Muir has Haro the Ninth. I liked Gideon the Ninth. I, had, I thought it was a fun book to read, cool magic, uh, well-written action. The storyline was a little bit not so great. But I think maybe in the second book, it'll get better. Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno-Garcia. I'm just looking forward to reading more Moreno-Garcia. She's a great writer. And I'm, I've enjoyed all the things I've read from her so far. So, uh, Jim Butcher has a new Dresden Files book supposedly coming out this year. It's called Peace Talks. And, of course, it's Harry Dresden. I mean, I'm going to get it. I can't just read 15 or 16 books and not get the next one. The Relentless Moon by Mary Robina Kowal. So the first two books in this series, the later Lady Astronaut series, were my favorite reads of 2018. So maybe this will be my favorite read of 2020. And then Sanderson, Stormlight Archive number four. We'll see what he names this one. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to, you know, only reading one book for an entire month. <laughs> so those are the books that I'm planning on buying and reading in 2020. If you are reading or looking to read any of these books and want to read them with me as like a buddy read, drop me a line on Voxer around the time the book comes out and maybe we can uh, read it together. That'd be cool. All right, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys uh, in another video.